exhibition. Uh, so the exhibition was co-organized by uh, Jacqueline Chinners from our curatorial staff, Jackie. Where are you? and Marianne Wilkinson. And together, they put together a beautiful catalog, which I've got folded open here, uh, which is available for sale. This is the pitch now. $9.95 in the museum store. Charles has signed a number of these, and I'm sure that he, we have a table available. I'm sure he will be willing to sign uh, more this evening. And the publications department, Judy. Um, Charles McGee and I have known each other for years. I've, um, I've known him for at least 15, and we've shared in uh, many, um, uh, we've been partners in, in many crimes, shall we say. Uh, I visited his studio a number of times. Uh, we have gone collecting African art together. And uh, years ago, when he started to, to work in, um, in aluminum, uh, I remember being just totally knocked over by these great things that he was making. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm very familiar with this painting over here since it hangs in our South Court. And somehow one could see this all coming together. And it's really glorious now to uh, see this exhibition where all these various elements that I've been familiar with over these years have finally come together. Uh, the Honorable Helene White and Jennifer Yanover. These people made it possible for this show to happen, and we would like to give them a round of applause. For them. As I said before, these shows are not not done without ex uh, without expense. And we depend on donors, as well as the lenders, we depend on donors to support the exhibition. And uh, this evening, uh, we have with us people who supported the exhibition in Traverse City uh, with Olmsted Products, uh, Dudley and Barb Smith. Dudley and Barb. They have been generous supporters of the music. We also had a major grant from the Michigan Council for the Arts and Cultural Affairs uh, to uh, support this exhibit. And in Detroit, uh, AT&T AT New Art, New Visions uh, provided funding and will be uh, supporting the exhibition and its installation, which will open on the 15th of December. And then also the Detroit Institute of Arts uh, Founder Society, uh, the state of Michigan and the city of Detroit, which are all supporters of that institution, uh, have contributed dollars uh, to make this exhibit possible. And we extend our appreciation to all of them. And Mike Cunningham from the Lincoln staff, uh, uh, Judy Shaw, my secretary, and someone who's not here this evening but did a lot with the installation, Jim Steve, who comes in. And in Michigan art for almost all of his life. Uh, you can buy the catalog and get the full story. I'm, I'm not going to go through all of that right now. But he has been uh, an active teacher, an artist, uh, ran uh, Gallery 7 in, in Detroit, uh, has been involved with the Commission on Art in Public Places, has done a great deal to, uh, to get the work of artists uh, installed around the state uh, and does wonderful work himself. And I would like to have him uh, say a few words uh, to us uh, this evening about the Noah's Ark series that you see here. Uh, and um, Charles will be back again at some time to talk more about the show, but if we could just hear a few words now. Thank you. Um, you're looking at the results of two years of golf deprivation. <laughs> <laughs> I've enjoyed every moment of it, and uh, I'm looking forward to money. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Enjoy. I hope that you like the show. Thank you very much. For Charles and and the some of the, the people.
people involved with the exhibition and so on. If you are part of that dinner, uh, please come to see me. I need to make sure that I have your name and can give you directions and so on. Uh, all of you, enjoy the rest of the evening uh, and thank you for coming. Thanks. You're welcome. I can find my way now. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. sister museums within the state, the Dennis Museum Center, Northwestern Michigan College, and Traverse City. We believe this is a promising inauguration in the partnership of exhibition development with the DIA and colleagues statewide. During his long career, Charles McGee has charted a course for his art that has allowed him the greatest latitude in exploring both formal aesthetic issues and his belief in the equality of all living things, human beings as well as animals. 
He has also generously given much to the community over the years as a teacher, curator, gallery director, and board member of many Michigan arts organizations. Underlying all of his activities is his trust in the vital importance of art to life. It seems most appropriate, therefore, to celebrate the occasion of Charles's 70th birthday with an exhibition of his Noah's Ark series, an exemplary collection of works that encapsulate his philosophy of life and art. I want to extend the sincere appreciation of the entire BIA family to Charles McGee, his wife Gail, and daughter Lindsay. And personally, I want to thank them for the active role that they have played in supporting the exhibition's development. It is especially heartwarming to see so many of Charles's friends, family, and fans here tonight. Your presence is a great honor to a great Detroiter. I am pleased to acknowledge the collaborative and creative efforts of the many BIA staff members and colleagues throughout the museum who have made this exhibition possible. I want to congratulate Jan Vandermark and the 20th Century Department and a particular note of thanks to Marianne Wilkinson, the curator of the exhibition. Marianne. <laughs> Working with Marianne as co-curator of the exhibition is Jacqueline Scheider. She here, somewhere, I saw her earlier. She is the curator from the Dentist Museum. Special thanks to our generous lenders, many of whom I have already seen present. The Friends of Modern Art and their chairman, Lila Silverman, is here. And the Friends of African and African American Art and their chairman, Sam Thomas Jr., who I think is unable to be with us tonight, but has many of the board members here standing in for him, can be very proud of their role as co-sponsors of this exhibition. Exhibit of a man that is literally an icon in, uh, in this community. It is such a pleasure for us to, to, to just be a participant uh, in bringing this work to this wonderful institution. And um, I'd like to publicly say uh, happy birthday to Charles. Doesn't he look great? Thank you, Mark. As mentioned earlier, we are delighted to have collaborated with one of our sister museums, and we are fortunate to have with us this evening Jean Gentleman, director of the Dennis Museum Center. Jean, please come forward. Thank you, Sam. It's a pleasure to be here this evening to celebrate the 70th birthday of Charles McGee and the opening of Charles McGee seeing 70 at the Detroit Institute of Arts. This evening would clearly not be complete without a word from one other person. Charles? Charles for agreeing to 
say a few words, an artist's work, as we all know, are his words. As you know, this event not only commemorates the exhibition opening in Detroit, it also commemorates and marks the 70th birthday. So join me in a round of happy birthday and let's have some cake. Happy birthday to you.
Hey, 